Hello Pisces, welcome to Sidekick Tarot. I'm Ryan, and thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading for who you may be dealing with and what they're up to. Or if you're interested in more tarot readings after this, go ahead and check out my wife's channel, Val 323 tarot She's read through as well. Thank you. I'll be starting by pulling their current or overall energy. And then we'll be going into clarifiers. Okay, I'll get the cards out first, and then I'll begin. That's something. Ain't that something? Um, what? today what an energy today um hmm. Hmm. this is this is interesting jumping into this though pisces this is this is interesting because there's clearly a matter of the heart that they're dealing with um they're trying to fill something out they're, they're moving at their own kind of pace here uh that being said, though, I, I do see that whatever this is that they're in the process kind of working through emotionally, they may be spending some time to themselves to really figure this out and kind of put things together for themselves internally, figure out where they're at emotionally, mentally regarding whatever this is. Uh, I do see that they are trying to reflect on this to kind of, in a sense, bring insight or bring awareness and clarity to themselves. They are becoming aware of something. And this is what's fascinating is how this energy is kind of moving and operating, especially to me. They are having some type of realization either about themselves or about the situation or about these feelings. At the same time, immediately following this realization, they're also kind of showing up like, um, I'm not too sure where I sit with this emotionally, but yet they still strongly believe in it. Um, but they also want to kind of figure out and do more research and find out more information on possibly how to communicate or say something. I don't know exactly what is going on, but there is possibly some type of communication here between the two of you. But unfortunately, immediately following that, there is a little bit of emotional distancing that they're taking. And they're kind of they're, they're kind of even energetically closing up here at the end of this. Even though they're showing me that they're still moving forward, they're, they're energetically closing up. And I'm like, okay. They kind of is this energy of someone who just wants to be left alone. I'm not too sure what that's about, but let's go ahead and jump into clarifiers. It's kind of fascinating. They're putting something together, but then they're also kind of closing themselves off at the same time. And it's like, they've discovered something clearly about the situation and the circumstances. And they're definitely kind of saying, I have my eyes peeled. They are definitely... The card I wanted to flip over in the deck, I split the deck and it opens up perfectly to it for me to do it. Hmm. Everything uh, lines up here. <laughs> okay. The devil. Yeah, that's exactly right. That's exactly right. Um, whatever this is that they have these emotions and feelings for, it may be becoming toxic. It may be something... Hmm. Unless the whole situation is, but ultimately what they're saying is these emotions that they're kind of setting in, it's, uh, well, they're, they're, they're choosing to take that risk. The question is how much intention and focus are they placing on this? Whatever this is. I feel like it's what they're up to. 
I feel like that's what they're up to. It's kind of interesting, though. Overall, it's it's them. They're kind of. I'm not too sure exactly why, but there seems to be some type of. How do I say this? There's some type of. This is fascinating how they're doing this. I feel like they're trying to get your recognition, or not get, get your recognition, but they're trying to be recognized by you. Because this is an energy of, okay, well, if I'm kind of just, what's that called? Timid? If I'm kind of just by myself, kind of just doing my own thing, or distant, or cold, or reserved, maybe I'll get recognized by Pisces. I don't know, though. I, I kind of feel like this is some type of personal endeavor that they're just highly focused on at the same time. Yeah, I feel like it is. Whatever, yeah, whatever they're realizing, it's definitely something that they are kind of working with and putting plans together for. I feel like this is something else. Even though it's possible that it could be trying to get your get you to recognize them at the same time, they're also saying what they're working on. It, it's an interesting balance of wanting to be recognized, but then also not wanting to be recognized. It's like, hmm. Jeez. Jeez. Yeah, there's something there. There's something there that they're trying to get past. And I don't know exactly what that is. There, there's something that they're trying to get past. And it's like a, an emo, how do I say this? It's, it's an emotional attachment. It's an emotional, it's something emotional. Is it how they feel about you, about something? By the way, I am looking at all earth signs, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's why. They're on the fence. That's why. Jeez. What is this? What is it this is trying to put together? This, yeah, they're, they're showing me that they believe. At the same time, they're also like, I, I don't know what I want. I don't know what I want or how I want to do this. It's like they're they're trying to be... Mm, they're trying to do this, but... It almost... The, I hear the words, at a loss. At a loss about something. Yeah, they're... Okay. <laughs> this, this feels like a reunion, if I'm being honest, Pisces. This feels like some. This feels like someone who's trying to get your attention. Because whatever, again, they're, they're this energy of trying to figure out what they want to do, trying to figure out how to emotionally move forward or move on. Um, this is an energy of. Mm. I have emotions and feelings for you, but they're becoming taught. They're slowly becoming toxic because it's like they, they're not too sure what they want. Um, an addiction in a sense. They can't seem to figure out a way to emotionally move on, but they can't figure out emotionally what they want. But yet the more they're kind of finding out information, the more the kind of energy shifts and it's a little bit of emotional back and forthness. Emotional back and forthness. And that's why I feel like that double energy is there. Emotionally back and forth. It's kind of like, um, you love me today, you hate me tomorrow. You love me today, you hate me tomorrow. You love me today, you hate me tomorrow. Which one's it going to be? Because that game's going to get old real quick. It's going to get old real quick. You can't have this back and forthness. It's like, okay, something's got to stabilize. Something's got to find a middle ground here, even emotionally or mentally. Um, yeah, they're also saying like, well, the more I'm finding out, the more I'm choosing to kind of stay put. Um, there is a question, not a question, but there is communication here between the two of you. Um, and ultimately what they're saying is I'm not going to let go quite yet. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Uh, but then why is your next energy the eight of cups that you're kind of emotionally distancing yourself again? It's like hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold. Weren't we just hearing that song today? Hot and Cold by Katy Perry. We were, we were, yeah, you change your mind. No, I'm not going to sing it. I was singing it earlier. I was being a smart ass with something. <laughs> yeah, this, is, this is the energy. It's hot, cold, hot, cold. But it's emotional hot, cold, hot, cold. 
And yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. They know. They know. They're they're trying to how do I say this? They're they're trying to it feels like they're trying to figure out where they're at emotionally. Because ultimately, whatever this emotional distancing is, all of a sudden, it's to be 100% on board with some type of shift or transformation for them. So it's it's clearly something that they are having to work through that's personal to them. It almost feels like this doesn't have anything to do about you, Pisces, except it's about you, Pisces. It's kind of like saying, well, if they have, if they're addicted to me and they can't stop following or stalking or spying on me, that's their problem. It's like, I didn't, whatever. I didn't make them have any type of emotional feels for me. So why are they kind of, how are they obsessed or addicted already? And that's exactly what I'm talking about. They're guarded, but yet they're still burdened and pressured by all of this. And with the Eight of Swords on top of the deck and the Queen of Swords right there. Yeah, I believe so, Pisces. You're standing your ground with someone who's trying to almost like figure out their way to you. And what's fascinating about this, it's not working. It's not working. And that lets me know that whoever this is, isn't actually in emotional communication or contact with you, Pisces. That's what's fascinating. Um, you could be dealing with them. At the same time, they're trying to figure out how to go figure. They're trying to figure out if they can deal with you some type of way. And if they can't, they're going to try and figure out how they, well, can move on from that. But either way, I'm not too sure what's going on here because they're showing me at the end of this, they're tired, they're exhausted, they're burnt out, and they still have so much more to take care of that's on their plate that they're kind of saying, I need a little bit of a, a break right now in order to take care of this. At the same time, I'm a little curious as to what's going on with them. Because there's something here about themselves that they're really trying to work with, that they are 100% on board with. But I feel like that is an addiction. I feel like there's something there that they're hooked and they're not one to let go. Clearly, because guess what? That is called free will and choice. If you're an adult, exercise your free will and, in a sense, get your shit together. Of course, if you are dealing with anyone, we do have Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, Cancer, and that is it. Goodbye.